When I was but a young lad, my da sat me pun his knee. He said, one day you'll grow up and you'll be a man like me. You'll know true love and passion's flame of honor and chivalry. But son, to be Atalantian is the best that you can be. Ah, hey, ah, ho, ah, war, and we will go. Ah, hey, ah, ho, it's off to war we go. Ah, hey, ah, ho, ah, war, and we will go. Sing hey, sing ho, it's off to war we go. If warring be your calling, then you fight most honorably. Do honor unto those you will and protect your lady. You'll sing her praise and love her dear, and at her side you'll be. But most of all, love that fair land that lies beside the sea. Ah, hey, ah, ho, ah, war, and we will go. Ah, hey, ah, ho, it's off to war we go. Sing, hey, sing, ho, ah, war, and we will go. Sing, hey, sing, ho, ah, war, and we will go. And you may gather riches and gain fame throughout the land By virtue of your cunning wit or by your strong right hand But gold may come and gold may go and silver may turn black But sun remain at Atlantean and there's nothing you shall lack Ah uh, hey, ah ho, ah war and we will go Ah uh, hey, ah ho, it's off to war we go Ah uh, hey, ah ho, ah war and we will go Ah uh, hey, ah ho, it's off to war we go and now my die is gone, and I'm a grown man all alone. But one day I shall have a lad and a family to call my own. And son, I'll say, as I look back upon my history, Son, to be Atalantian is the best that you can be. Ah, hey, ah, ho, ah, war, and we will go. Ah, hey, ah, ho, it's off to war we go. Ah, hey, ah, ho, ah, war, and we will go. Sing, hey, sing, ho, it's off to war we go. I stand amid argent and azure The sea and the sky parted soft by the foam Yet sorrow's companion this pleasure For day breaks and I must take leave of my home Though great is the love that I bear for this land And parting brings heartache full sore My will it is hardened by duty's demand Proudly I'll heed the drums calling to war I dwell in Atlantia splendor And great is her wealth both in grace and in might Her queen crowned with beauty and honor Her king ever bold in defense of the right be he squire or knight, be he peasant or peer, humility servant he stands. An able companion, a brave volunteer, when maiden or mistress his service commands. If chivalry shines before valor, if courtesy stands as the purest acclaim, if the standard of goodness is honor, then first among peers is Atlantia's name. So clad in our mail, to our weapons we cling, in treaty and friendship full sworn. For love and for duty we follow our king, in aid of our allies we march on the morn. Amid argent and azure With brothers in arms for the battle arrayed The might of our forces to measure And answer our kinsmen who called for our aid And though I must march with my back to the sea My gaze turned away from the tide I carry Atlantia's colors with me her banners proclaiming our kingdom, our pride. Stand amid argent and azure. Oh, black are the wings of the corby, and gold is his fair heart so true. 
and white is the belt of the chivalry. Those chosen are knighted a few. The finest Atlantean warriors who wear the white and the blue of all those who would fight for glory. Those chosen are knighted a few. Of all those who claim to have honor, of all those whose hearts would be true, of all those who would be called chivalry, those chosen are knighted a few. What special man may be called chivalry? What special man may be called knight? Who wears the spurs and chain golden? And wears the belt colored pure white, a man of integrity, honor, of courtesy and loyalty, a teacher, a leader, a warrior, of these things the chivalry be. Today a young squire is chosen, and before his king he kneels down and gives to his sovereign his fealty, his service he swears to his crown. Let all know this young knight, Sir Corby, and give him the honor he's due of all those who would be called chivalry, those chosen and knighted are few. O oh, black are the wings of the corby, and gold is his fair heart so true. And white is the belt of the chivalry, those chosen and knighted are few. are too fast and the legend's long past Yet some would still dream of a place A place of goodwill where beauty lies still A bastion of honor and grace A bastion of honor and grace Will you wear the belt and chain That this dream may yet live again Young lad and make him page Teach the boy to come of age Teach him fealty, service and truth Give him these gifts in his youth Give him these gifts in full sooth Will you wear the belt and chain That this dream may yet live again Swear your heart to chivalry's art Swear your sword to our game Take the young man and make him squire Teach him arms to best his sire Teach him chivalry strength without stain For one day he'll take belt and chain One day he too will be Resort, swear your sword to our gain. Wear the belt as a badge of your word. Farewell the chain, for your oath is interred. Hold fast to honor as hard as it seems. For you guard the halls of our dream. You guard the halls of this dream. Resort, swear your sword to our game. Will you wear the belt and chain that this dream may yet live again? Swear your heart to chivalry.
civil resort Swear your sword to our gain Swear your sword and be chained When valor is met on the field, one thinks of chivalry. I'll tell you of a knight so bold, and what a man should be. If honor above all else is the crowning trait of man, all eyes must gaze and heads must turn, and thoughts must be of him. No man may question this knight's worth, his prowess on the field. Integrity his cornerstone, and never will he yield. A leader for his kingdom, though he'd never wear a crown, the silent captain on his watch will never run aground. Who is this knight, this man that we do hold above them all? Cassetta's son, Atlantius prize, the mighty surf of Gaul. For kings may come and kings may go like foam upon the wave, but honor and integrity shall last beyond the grave. So lift your glass in toast with me and stand within this hall. Remember now this valiant knight, this mighty Sir Fogal. Our might has been questioned by enemy blades, and so we now stand here together. Off in the distance our foemen await, as we don our mail and our leather. Soon shall the field of this dark battle quake, and we then take arms in the fray. Soon shall our blades taste the blood of our foes, but first heed the words I would say. Keep both your arm and your mind ever steady, as sharp as Atlantean steel. Show them your arrows and blades at the ready, show them your courage is real. And as they lay dying of food for the crows, let them die fearing Atlantean blows. Hold or advance, but never retreat, show them the meaning of battle. Heed not the voice that would herald defeat Drive them before you like cattle And let them drink deep from the chalice of death And let the drought flow bitter black For any who challenge the rule of our king Let us vow they shall never march back Keep both your arm and your mind ever steady As sharp as Atlantean steel Show them your arrows and blades at the ready, ah, show them your courage is real. And as they lay dying of food for the crows, let them die fearing Atlantean blows. A word to the foe with the wisdom to hear, turn vessels of war from our homeland. Be greeted as allies, be welcomed as friends, but tempt not the ire of our strong hand. For if in your arrogance you would unfurl a standard of challenge on high, we'll send it back bloody for no blackguard's flag shall darken Atlantia's sky. Keep both your arm and your mind ever steady, as sharp as Atlantean steel. Show them your arrows and blades at the ready, ah, show them your courage is real. And as they lay dying of food for the crows, let them die fearing Atlantean blows. As they lay dying of food for the crows, let them die fearing Atlantean blows.